Sound check, sound check, sound check, sound check, sound check, sound check. Good morning. Paul here from Trek It with Harry flying his new camera, I may add. So uh, yeah, I hope this uh, hope this video does it justice. And we've also got Margot and Nelly here. So if they get into shot or drop sticks and things, well, I apologise in advance. It's what dogs do. But anyway, we are here today in this rather beautiful spot overlooking, uh, I can see the Brecon Beacons from here and virtually all of the Black Mountains. It's absolutely stunning. Harry is going to put up a lovely panoramic shot of the view. Uh, so I'm waffling a bit, aren't I? Sorry, Harry. Anyway, why we're here? We're here to talk about these rather unexpectedly lovely trousers from Fjallraven. They are the Vardag trousers and uh, I really like them. I wasn't uh, expecting to like them, to be honest, because of a certain feature which we'll talk about later. But um, so what are they really? Well, they're, they're like a, a, an everyday trouser that you can wear for uh, a bit of commuting on your bike. You can use them for a bit of hiking, you use them for general outdoor use. All right, now, uh, everyday wear, they are exceptionally comfortable. They fit really well. Uh, they have kind of minimal features but they're just a really nice trouser to wear. They're really comfy. And uh, yeah, I'll talk about the surprising element later. Okay, so let's start with uh, what these uh, rather lovely Vardag trousers are made from. Well, uh, if you're familiar with the R. Evans products, you will know all about G1000. And these use G1000 Eco Stretch. Mm, stretchy. So, uh, G1000 Eco, as the name implies, it uses a 65% polyester, which is fully recycled, and it uses organic cotton, 35% organic cotton, which is then woven with a mechanical stretch. So Harry and I were sort of scratching our heads about this because we were looking through the, the details of the fabrics, and there's no lycra in here, there's no elastane. Uh, it is purely, uh, the stretch is given by the way that Fjallraven have built the trousers and the way that the fabric's woven. So that's called a mechanical stretch. So instantly, uh, they feel uh, a lot more stretchy than, say, my uh, Vida pants, which have no stretch in them at all. Uh, they just feel more comfortable to wear and, yeah, they're great. So it's that G1000 Eco Stretch fabric. The beauty of Fjallraven's G1000 fabric as those aficionados I'm sure are aware, is that it is a really tough, durable, lightweight, breathable fabric, but you can change its kind of performance characteristics by adding Greenland wax. Uh, Harry will put a link up to uh, how to wax your garments, but basically you can apply the wax uh, using heat. It melts into the fabric to make it much, much more water resistant. Doesn't make them waterproof, all right? Just putting that out there, not waterproof, but much more water resistant. And you can also wash out the wax to make them much more breathable. So that gives you an all round, all year round pair of trousers. You know, wax them up for winter, uh, wash the wax out for summer, and you've got uh, an all year round versatile pair of trousers, such as these. Okay, let's move on to the features. Um, it's a fairly, limited feature set because the whole point of these trousers is they're light and comfy to wear so they're not festooned with pockets. Are they Margot? No. So pockets wise you get three zip pockets, two either side and one on bum. Voila. Big enough to get mobile phones etc in. And um, the other feature is it gets a, a, a nice diamond gusseted crotch which does enable lots of freedom of movement. So you can do things like this, and you can do things like this. Oh, I don't want to do too much of that at my age. Oh, blimey. Anyway, so yeah, lots of freedom of movement. If you, you know, you could even do a bit of bouldering or climbing in these. There's loads of freedom of movement. And obviously you've got that little bit of stretch in the fabric as well, just to aid with that mobility. You've got belt loops. So as you can see, I've got my belt on here. Uh, but there is also a little neat uh, elastic section at the back of the waistband just to allow a little bit of um, pork pie room, if you get my meaning. If your belly is a little like mine and fluctuates between the seasons, you've got a little bit of stretch there 
for extra comfort or in fact if you just don't want to wear a belt with them. But the main feature and the thing that has surprised me about these trousers uh, is the uh, elastic at the bottom of the hem. Now normally being uh, quite tall and with a 34 inside leg I would avoid elasticated bottoms at all costs because I um, have a phobia of the dreaded puddle dodger effect. I just think, oh, that's not a good look. But actually, these, I really like them. They're really, really, uh, they work really, really well. Now, this is the long leg version, so they're available in three different leg lengths, short, regular, and long. So this is the long leg version, and they sit really nicely on top of my boots here. Uh, they're not flapping around, so you don't get that swish, 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 swish when you're walking. Uh, it keeps the bottom of the trousers nice and neat and clean and tidy. But the big feature is that if I happen to be on my bicycle, popping to the shops or even commuting to work through town or whatever, the trousers are much less likely to get caught in the chain of your bicycle. So yeah, a really great feature. And it gives them a, gives them a really nice kind of tapered, slim look which I like, being tapered and slim, I guess. But uh, yeah, I, I, it's really surprised me. I really like them, uh, and I'm gonna try and blag this pair off Harry at the end of the video. So like I said earlier, uh, the trousers at the bottom are pulled in with that elastic so that when you're riding your bike, they stay well clear of the chain. So I've just popped back to get my trusty bike. And as you can see, the trousers are not catching on the chain. Oops, sorry, Harry. And then, as you can see with my cycling shoes, so if I had standard trainers on or just normal shoes, the trousers are long enough in this long leg for me. So they don't look like puddle dodgers. You know, they still look, they look great. They look great with the shoes. Okay, how do they fit? Well, uh, I am a 34 waist with a 34 inside leg. Uh, and this is Fjallraven size 50. Uh, which equates pretty much exactly to a 34. The easy way to remember to convert Fjallraven sizes to UK sizes is simply to subtract, subtract 16. Therefore, 50 becomes 34. Get it? I didn't even have to use my calculator. And these are the long legs. So again, these are a 34 leg. There's a regular and a short leg available um, uh, to suit those people who have short or regular legs. Uh, the fit is slim. You know, I'm not particularly massive in the thighs and there's not a huge amount of fabric there's a little bit of room here but because you've got that stretch they will fit somebody who's I don't know something like Chris Hoy maybe he's got massive thighs they might be a bit snug but uh, yeah I think for average people they're going to fit really nicely it's a nice tapered leg and you've got that elastic section at the bottom like I said earlier which just brings them in nice and neat at the bottom and the little elastic section at the back of the waist just brings it in close in the small of your back. It's a really nice feeling. You don't get that kind of slight either bunching or bagginess at the back and the small of your back, which you sometimes get. So yeah, really nice fit. Love them. Yeah, great, nice one. Okay, so uh, that was that. That was the um, rather lovely Vialraven Vardag trousers. As you can probably tell from my enthusiasm, they're, uh, they're really nice, I really like them. Um, fit really well, well made. Typical Fjall Raven, just really nice pair of trousers. They do trousers really, really well. Uh, if you want to learn a little bit more about the G1000 family of products, Harry will put a link up to a video which I did earlier explaining all of the different types of G1000. And, uh, and yeah, that's about it really. If you want a, a lovely, lightweight, comfortable, weather resistant, breathable, tough, durable, stretchy, well-fitting, nicely made, good colour, blah, 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 pair of trousers. Get yourself a pair of Fjallraven Vardag. So all that's left for me to say is thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure to come out into the woods to film with Harry once again. And uh, yeah, if you have any comments or questions, pop them in the section below. We do respond. It's always good to hear from you. And uh, well, you know what to do with the whole subscribe, bell icon thing, whatever, you know, just hit the subscribe button. You get updated with all of our videos. Uh, yeah, so uh, I think that's about it. I'll say um, toodaloo.